My grandfather was an avid hunter in his day. One day, something happened to him. I'll tell you this story the way I remember it. It was in the summer. My grandfather, then a man in his prime, went to the forest for hunting. All the places nearby were familiar and walked by, so my grandfather went to the wilderness, closer to the mountains, where ordinary hunters wouldn't normally go. On his way to the forest, he found many broken trees, wool on the branches, and someone's traces. He was glad to finally get on the bear's track, but the tracks weren't bears, and not human. There's no human being as big as that, and the bear's paw is different. Evening was approaching, and he had to look for a place to sleep. He found a big old spruce, one branch of which covered safely from the rain and wind. Having dragged dead wood and twigs there, and spread a couple of sweaters, he lit a fire nearby to warm the canned food. Evening was upon him. That's when he heard the crunch of twigs. Someone or something was walking around his camp. But perhaps because of fire, it didn't come any closer or show up. Grandfather stayed up all night, and that something wandered around in circles. The fire had to be banked up until sunrise. As soon as morning dawned, my grandfather decided to go to the wintering camp, which is closer to the mountain. There's no way he was coming back home without meat, and it would be safer to sleep there, and perhaps this beast would get away from him, and he would be able to hunt in peace. Wintering camp is a hut where a lost traveler or hunter could warm up in winter, eat and sleep over. Such huts had often been built before. He got there closer to the evening, and all the way someone was chasing him, but for some reason it didn't touch him. He locked the door behind him and lighted the iron furnace to warm the food. He didn't touch his store of food, he had canned food with him. When he ate, he lay down on the bench, spread his sweater on it and quickly fell asleep. At night, some noise woke him up. Someone was trying to open the door. But the door was secure. Oak. He took the shotgun and lit a candle. Nothing could be seen, but the sound of heavy footsteps could be heard from the outside. Someone passed by the window. Grandfather pointed the gun to the six-inch window. He looked into the darkness of the night forest. A gunshot. The gun went off and lit up everything for a moment. Grandfather even managed to discern the muzzle of someone who tried to get into the hut and eat fresh meat. After the gunshot, Grandfather heard a long howl. He thought the beast was badly wounded and it wouldn't be hard to kill it. He ran out of the hut, literally in what he was wearing, with a gun, a flashlight and a box of shells in his back pocket. He saw something big and shaggy running into the forest and rushed after it. He ran after him for a long time. He fired again and then, blinded by a flash of gunfire, he didn't notice a snack sticking out and fell down. The hunters heard the shots and realized that something terrible was going on and someone was in trouble. Four people with dogs went there. Maybe that's what saved grandfather's life. Dogs barking scared away the forest creature and they found grandfather unconscious lying near a tree. He told us that he had fired at least five shots with a gun, almost at point-blank range and then the beast knocked him senseless. And the reminder of those days is the scar left by the creature.